You know, we always say of Christian people who have died, he or she is in a better place. Where does that idea come from? Well, I'm looking in the Gospel of John in chapter 14, where the Lord Jesus is speaking. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I'm not looking at the enigmatic many mansions part of this word right now. I may come back to that if the Lord wills. No, I want us to see instead the end of the verse where the Lord says, I go to prepare a place for you. Now, if we turn to the Apostle Paul's letter to the church in Philippi, at Philippians chapter 1, at verse 23, we read this. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Paul is saying he needs to stay alive to keep teaching and encouraging the Philippians, but he wants to be with Christ, which is far better. So Jesus has a place prepared for you and me in heaven, and it is far better than here. That's the origin of the idea of a better place. A couple of years ago, three dear friends of ours fell ill in the same year. Maxine fell sick with a brain tumour. Frank Brooks contracted cancer of the brain, and a dear doctor friend was also afflicted by cancer. Judy and I pray for them to recover. We pray to the Lord to heal them. We know he can do it. There are numerous testimonies of healings like that. You may know of one, of several. God must do it. So we prayed in faith. And even if we did not have enough faith, there was faith of plenty in the others who prayed. But all three went to be with the Lord. Looking back, all three had accomplished great work for the Lord in their time on earth. Maxine set up a school and had a massive ministry of encouragement. Pastor Frank set up the Transformed Ministry for ex-convicts like himself, together with a pro-life initiative on the very doorstep of an abortion facility in Brixton, South London. And Dr George, he healed a sick and helped raise a wonderful family who are still going strong in the Lord, so far as I'm aware. You know, all three of these dear souls are in a better place. So why are we sorry they've gone there? We should be rejoicing they've reached that place of eternal life and eternal rest. Instead, we mourn. Aren't we strange? But we are not alone. The Apostle Paul was just like us. In that same letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, and verse 27, he told them, For indeed he, that's Epaphroditus, was sick nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. It's the same feeling. When people depart this mortal coil, people we've known and loved, cried and laughed with, worked with, taught or learnt from, we are in mourning. We remember them. We are sorrowful at our loss. You may be in that place right now, so please comfort yourself or even shock yourself by recalling the departed are in a better place. And thank the Lord for that. One day you and I will join them. Stay strong in your faith in Christ till then.